Let's dive on into Pizza Hut Stadium for this first game of Group B. As the kick is away, it's going to be Henry starting with the ball first. Rocky with those Chicago Bear uniforms. Shannon Sharp takes it out of bounds to the 27-yard line. Yeah, Nick, I'm excited to see this high-powered Henry Bunch offense. Everyone talks about he's got the playbook he wanted. Look at those. Look at those youngest players. Henry, 16 years old. But here's the thing. These are two of the youngest out of 16. we got two of the youngest players here. But neither of them play like a young player. These guys play like veterans. Oh, yeah. These are two of the top guys we have. And I talked to Ghost a little while ago. You know, Rage Labs with those guys, Ghost, Drini, Prodigy. And Ghost told me, I'm guaranteeing a victory of Rage over Henry. A big statement, bold statement. We'll see what happens with it. What's good to know is that Ghost has never made bold <laughs> statements before. That's really not his style. A calm, reserved individual. As we get Group B play started, it's going to be Henry on offense. Out of that gun bunch, Kyler Murray at the helm, stepping up. Looking left side, that's Steve Largent with the catch. Near first down. Yeah, in that gun bunch, he's got Kyler Murray at quarterback. Comes up, running that bunch trail play. It's got the, it's got the little uh, post route with B over there. And he throws the backside curl. Great concept. Back into the shotgun, Kyler Murray, a popular pick at quarterback because of the speed that he brings. As he steps up, playmakers, the halfback of the field, little indecisive there from Henry, had a couple options. Yeah, very unique defense right there by Rage. He's actually using the slot cornerback, which you never see. He's trying to bump uh, Henry's slot receiver right there. Great defense on that second play. Now facing a third and short. Watch out for Hollywood Brown, he's split wide right. The little quarterback draw action out of the bunch. The run right away goes nowhere, and an early fourth down for Henry. Going to flip the bunch from left to right, an odd third down play. Ends up losing a couple yards. Got Christian McCaffrey on his left hip. Murray, quick throw to the flat. That's Hall with the catch to the 40-yard line. Deep breath, picks up a first down. Nice quick dot there. He low balls the whip row. And on that third down, he went with the QB draw, a glitch type of play. He didn't get the animation he wanted. That's why you saw Kyler kind of running slow. But he picks up a big fourth down on that whip row. Now first and 10, it's Kyler Murray. He's going to take off. That's a big reason why a lot of these guys taking Kyler Murray because he has the ability to run the ball. Yeah, great point, Nick. I think he has about 88 speed. So once you turn him into a ball carrier, he's super fast, especially at quarterback, and that's an added element to his offense. Safe to say, T. Davis, that in this game at least, the pressure's all on Henry because the ex expectations considering the year he's had so far. Well, yeah, and if you think about it, Henry's already locked into the Madden Bowl. He doesn't really have to, you know, obviously he wants to win this, but Rage is fighting. He's up high in the points right now, but he needs to win this group to get into the Madden Bowl. Was that, was that the draw animation he was looking for on that second down play before? That's exactly what he wanted. As you can see there, a huge hole up the middle versus that big dime. Henry takes advantage on that QB draw. Two of the youngest players here at the Madden Challenge facing off early in Group B. First down to 10. Hollywood Brown now on the outside of the bunch on the left side. He'll split wide left. Murray steps up, looks over the middle, looking for Dave Casper. Diving catch for Henry. Boy, we watched this draft from Henry a couple days ago. He is loaded at just about every position. Yeah, he's got a stacked team. And we saw in his interview the other day, he said he loves that clear out play. That's why he wanted Baltimore. And he goes with it right there to the tight end post. Murray's looking for Hollywood Brown. Oh, you can't press up Hollywood because he will burn you. A touchdown for Henry to kick off this first game. Young Henry, the kid is just so surgical. Doesn't take him long to get down the field. Easy touchdown his first drive. Wow, insane. Eight plays, 72 yards, zero problems for Henry. As the kick is away, Rage is going to have to find a way to respond. To the early touchdown from the 16-year-old Henry as we take a look at our Snickers touchdown replay. Oh, Hollywood's such a burner over the top. Yeah, Rage put his corner in a cover two zone. Just nice little fade, motioned out. Easy touchdown in the end zone. I think when he got Hollywood Brown in that draft, that might have been the most animated we, we saw Henry because he knows what sort of weapon and how much that opens up the offense for him. Speed is so important, especially in this mode. It's hard to move the ball on offense in this game. When you have speed, it's just it's a huge advantage. And yeah, Rage now, he's in that Denver Broncos offensive play, like we said. He's, you're going to see a lot of what we saw from Joke and Lil Man earlier. He's coming out in this strong close. But he told me he looks to audible to I-form, some weak eye, and mix it up. 
Rage coming off a seventh place finish at the Classic, his best ever finish in an MCS event. So he's gonna hand it off, that's Kenyon Drake. T. Davis, we've seen Kenyon Drake run a couple of times. What do people like about this Kenyon Drake item here in Mutt Draft? Yeah, he's got some pretty good speed. Uh, he has a decent break tackle. He's just a good item, he can spin. A lot of people like him. And I talked to Rage earlier. He said he loved his playbook, but he did not feel super confident in his team that he drafted. He was a little worried about it, but he said he's going to fight through it. Got some nice offensive line piece. Some of the two of the best tackles. Got Ryan Ramjick and Joe Staley at tackle. It's going to be Drake up the middle. So far, though, Henry seems to have an idea of what he wants to do in run defense. Yeah, Henry looking good in that edge blitz that we see so often out of 3-4. Big third and six already. He's going to motion out Freeman. Look for, a, uh, look for a post or maybe a flat route here. He's got Russell Wilson at quarterback. That's Robbie Anderson split wide right. Marvin Harrison wide left. He's looking for that slant, but too much pressure on the defense of Lyles. Michael Brockers getting after Wilson. Early decision time on fourth and six. Yeah, big decision here. He, he You know, his routes kind of ran into each other. He had a crosser, and then the wheel came on the same side. They kind of ran into each other. He didn't have any option but to throw it away. And he's going to go for it in his own territory already. Huge decision. Rage knowing how important it is to keep up with Henry. Let's see if he's able to do it. Anderson in motion. He's got Gronkowski on the right side. Russell Wilson dropping back. Does he have a little magic? Nobody open downfield trying to make something happen with Wilson, but Henry's defense too tough as the Tennessee Titan Jarrell Casey with a sack on fourth down. Just phenomenal defense by Henry, just nothing open at all. He used the post route that Rage wanted, and now if you're Henry, you're in business already, and, and he's going to come out firing right here. He, mark, he wants to waste no time. Mark it down. I think we might have seen the first smile from Henry. Usually calm, cool, and collected, but he looked... Pretty pleased to see Jarrell Casey get after the quarterback. It's the first time we get to see Christian McCaffrey with a carry, and he's going to wish they just threw the ball. Yeah, Henry's all business. He doesn't say a lot. He's always prepared, always motivated. He's had a huge year so far. And this gun bunch, man, one of the best there is. Defending Eagles Club champion, second place at the Classic to our very own Sirius Mo. A second and 12. He's actually going to for the first time be out of that gun bunch. It's for Dante Hall in the slot. Motion's back right side. He's gonna take a delay a game, maybe overthinking it a little bit. Those are some yards that, you know, second and 12 for second and 17 is very different. Yeah, I think he's overthinking it a little bit right now, trying to run the clock, trying to run the ball, motioning too much. He's back in that gun bunch here though. Stepping up, looking right side. There's Steve Largent again. He's got that curl route working on the edge. End of one here inside Pizza Hut Stadium. Group B, game one. It is Henry on top, 7 nothing, and on the drive. Yeah, I love the route combos Henry's doing. He has that post with the tight end over the top, and then underneath it he has the curl. It really stresses the user, makes it make a, makes them make a decision. Third and short. Can Rage get a defensive stop that not only may hold Henry to three, but they get him a little confidence. There's that Kyler Murray quarterback draw. Ooh, that one's going to be close. They're giving him the five, which will give him a first down. Yeah, the QB draw glitch again right there with Kyler Murray. Uh, for the viewers out there, you want to run that flip. It's the only way it works, and you don't want to you don't want to spe uh, speed right away uh, spe uh, speed right away with your quarterback. You want to wait a couple seconds. You're going to be able to go up the middle, especially this. Rage is basically giving him to it with this big hole up the middle. The hand of Chris McCaffrey trying to get outside. Cut back inside. Maybe gets a yard. Not the smoothest run we've seen to the edge, but that Christian McCaffrey, boy, not only is he great in the NFL, he's great here in Madden. Yeah, he is, man. Super fast, super agile, can spin, can juke. Second and goal here. He looks like he's going to go to the pistol, which we don't see often, Nick. Very interested to see how this works. Pistol, strong eye, wing. Look for maybe a read option here. I'd like to see that. I remember when Christian McCaffrey came out of college out of Stanford. People were questioning if he was going to be a good NFL running back. I don't think anybody's questioning it anymore. He's been nothing but a star. This pistol strong formation. Murray driving back to pass out of it. Pressure up the middle. Down goes Kyler. Marshall with the sack. Third and goal from the 11. Yeah, I don't love the decision by Henry. You know, I don't think he's comfortable in that pistol. I would like to see it come out, just run like a stretch or a dive right there on the four-yard line. But a big sack for Rage. He needs that for his confidence moving forward. We've seen a little bit of indecisiveness from Henry, which is you'd usually expect from somebody who didn't get the playbook they wanted, but for Henry, it went right as he wanted it to. Yeah, a couple of plays on this drive have been, you know, a little shaky. 
A little indecisive, but see what he does here on third and goal. Look for a halfback wheel out of the backfield. Scott McCaffrey on the right hip of Kyler Murray. Dave Cass for the tight end on the left side of the formation. We're nearing the two minute warning. It's been all Henry. A stop, a touchdown, he's looking for more. Murray takes the snap, looks over the middle. That's Steve Largent. How good has Largent been for Henry's offense? A touchdown one more time for the kid from Chicago. Just a great dot right there. He waited for the yellow zone, a bite down a second. Then he hits that post right over him in the end zone. Huge play, and Henry looks like all business right now. So the kick is away. Devontae Freeman going to take this from inside the 15. Past the 25, he'll be tripped up at the 26-yard line. T. Davis, first drive, Rage went backwards, almost 20 yards. Got to think this drive can't go much worse. Yeah, if you're Rage, this is the drive right here. You got to get the ball down the field. You got to get some positive stuff going for your confidence and for this game before it gets out of hand. See if he comes out running the ball here. Hand off to Drake, stretch run. He's got a little bit of room on the outside. Dunbar makes the tackle, but Drake will pick up nine. And see, the one thing about Drake, he doesn't have that, like, getaway speed, though. He's not he's not a complete burner, and you saw it right there. He wasn't able to get by the defense. But a nice nine-yard gain to start the drive. Second out and one for Rage. Kenyon Drake. That was that sprinter's position in the backfield. Ooh, I don't know if he got there. He got close, and they're going to say he's short. Third and short, and Rage going to hurry back to the line. Hasn't had a lot of success between the tackles. Has had a little bit on the outside. Anderson in motion. Drake cuts it inside. I think he got it there, but that was the hardest one yard on two downs I have ever seen. Yeah, barely picks it up. He motioned that receiver over for a little extra blocker. It might have helped him get that yard, but Henry's playing great run defense right now. Rage is squeaking out these yards best he can, but a nice first down right there. Does have Devontae Freeman, the Atlanta Falcon, at fullback. Here comes Marvin Harrison in motion. Wilson, look quickly to Freeman out of the backfield. That's a play we've seen, we saw through Group A, that wheel route from the fullback has been there. Good defense from Henry. Good defense, but I love that route concept by Rage right there. He ran the play, in weak, the weak formation is double post. He motioned over one of the posts, turned into a corner route. Then he had the wheel underneath. So if they had clouds, you could hit the wheel route. If he played hard flats, you could hit the corner route. Just a phenomenal route combo by Rage. Split Drake out of the backfield. Rage played the second most ladder games out of anybody in the Madden Challenge. Quick throw to Kenyon Drake. Oh, he had something there. Picks up a first down. Yeah, Rage looking good right now. I think he's playing much looser than that first drive. Maybe the nerves are in on him that first drive, but he looks great right now, mixing up his play calls. Oh, you don't want to see Lynch in the backfield that quickly when you're trying to run that way. Yeah, Henry just bringing the heat right now. Minute seven to go in the first half. This game flying by. Henry with a commanding two-score lead. Big drive upcoming here. That's Freeman. Oh, he just beats the defender. That was Jackson trying to make a play. Devontae Freeman showing off the wheels. Yeah, and Rage couldn't get out of bounds there right there. That kind of hurt. He's, he wasted about 12, 15 seconds now. Going as fast as he can. Look for a stretch play. Here's the stretch. Reed got blocked. Gets past Jackson, avoids the hit stick, breaking tackles and breaking hearts is Kenyon Drake. Took a little bit of a gamble right there with that juke, but it paid off. He's able to get out of bounds, and now he has plenty of time with two timeouts. Last time he split Drake out to the left side, he had that quick throw. He's got the cornerback over him now. He'll take the drag. Marvin Harrison, who will get out of bounds at the 23. T. Davis, we were looking at his path to get here. Look at the names he went through. VTech. Fina, Dubby, Young Tony. I mean, his rage was well tested coming into the challenge. Oh yeah, a bunch of tough games right there. Able to get here, and he's in business right now. If he can get seven and he gets ball at half, it'll be huge for him. But the clock is against him. Those two timeouts, gonna have to use him here. Henry looks on. Looking for his first belt. Throwing up to Robbie Anderson. Can't high point that one. Look at Henry, he's just, he's, I can't believe he wasn't able to come down with a turnover. That was a dangerous throw from Rage. Yeah, super risky right there. Henry in that cover too. Rage thought he could thread the needle in, up the seam, but very risky throw right there. Seen Russell Wilson make those plays in the NFL. 
Ray Jess, can Russell Wilson make those plays here in the challenge? Third down and eight as Robbie Anderson moves over to the left side. It's Russell Wilson. Look at that little hitch route caught by Anderson. Rage will have to use a timeout to stop the clock. At 20 seconds, he will take his field goal. As the kick is up. It is good from 37 out. All right, T. Davis, who's feeling better about that field goal, Henry or Rage? Oh, definitely Henry. And Henry called a timeout. Henry wants another chance with the ball here with 16 seconds, but nice little drive by Rage. Obviously, you wanted seven, but to get points on the board in ball at half is huge. Dante Hall taking that kick up past the 21. That kick did take eight seconds off the clock. Henry with three timeouts. He still thinks he can put point on the board, though. Yeah, I'm interested to see what he comes out in here, if he wants to try to move the ball on the field through the air, if he's going to try to break off a run. Looks like he's going to come out in that I-form wing, try to break off a run and get out of bounds. It's crazy to hear people talk about Henry T. Davis because people are like, wow, I can't believe Henry doesn't have a belt. This is his first year competing. All he's done is made every live final, and yet people are going, it's crazy that he hasn't won one of these already. Yeah, first year competing in his first event, he made the finals. Came in second place, uh, you know, made the club series, and now here he is again in the Final 16 of the Madden Challenge. Just a great rookie year. Seven seconds left, and they will let this clock run all the way down. Halftime inside Pizza Hut Stadium, and Henry living up to the Phenom moniker. Up 14 to three over Rage. Let's check in with our man, James Coe, who's got more on the latest on Twitch extensions. James? Thank you, Nick Mazesco. Hey, you think you've got the best Madden knowledge all around? Put it to the test with the new Twitch extension. Climb the leaderboard by earning points for every trivia or prediction question answered correctly. We will also be drop, dropping codes for a 96 OVR Champ Bailey. These are first come, first serve, so make sure you pay close attention throughout the broadcast. Now, do these guys need a 96 OVR Champ? Well, maybe not, but they, they sure would like them. Look at these players there in the Snickers Players Lounge. All right, set you off here for the second quarter. We send it back to Nick Mazesco and T. Davis. James, I need one of those Champ Baileys. Like, the guys in the Snickers Lounge may not need it, but I need one of those. Saw one of those codes pop up, T. Davis. Went to go put it in. And these guys got fast fingers in Twitch. <laughs> yeah, they do, man. They get those codes quick. The kick is away, and T. Davis, safe to say, this is the most important drive of the game. Rage needs points, preferably a touchdown. Yeah, he needs it on this drive. And the thing we saw is, you know, the red zone and these field goals are just so crucial, man. you got to get seven points on the board. This is the biggest drive of the game for Rage. Of his Madden season at the, up to this point, because, you know, he's got to get into the Madden Bowl. He's close, but he's got to get out of his group to, to give himself a good chance to get into that Madden Bowl. You just want to take the pressure off of this tournament. Just get out of the group and lock your spot. Hand off to Kenyon Drake up the middle. I think that's the first time we've seen some room in the A-gap as Drake able to pick up eight. Yeah, nice little hatback dive out of the iPhone there. And he comes back out in that strong close. Goes to this weak formation. I love this weak formation. I really want to see this more from Rage. It's Robbie Anderson over to the left side. It's going to be a quick throw. He had, I think, every receiver on the left side open, T. Davis, and found a way to miss all of them. Oh my, Henry accidentally ran commit, and Rage had everything open, just couldn't get a ball, the ball to a receiver. He could have had a huge play. I'm like, looking over there, there's one defender for three wide receivers. Still an incomplete pass. Wilson finds Anderson over the middle. Nice read there. I feel like those are the plays when they miss all three wide receivers that the DB comes back and he's clapping. You're like, dude, what are you clapping about? <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't do anything. Yeah, uh, unfortunate for Rage. He really could have had a big play, but he's able to convert there on kind of a broken play. Goes back to the run here, I bet. It will be a run indeed. Kenyon Drake's got some room on the outside. Look at the blocking by Marvin Harrison as Kenyon Drake picks up a first down, and Rage has the offense rolling at the 38-yard line. Yeah, nice little stop and go right there. Rage mixing up his play calls. This is what I love to see. He's Ever since that first drive, he's looked much better on offense. He's got to get in the end zone, though. Drake with the carry one more time to the 35. It was slow starting for Kenyon Drake, but he's up to averaging 5.8 a carry. 
Yeah, looking much better here after that first drive. And Rage, I was talking to him earlier, he wanted to shout out his mom, Katrina, supports him in all his Madden endeavors. Said she's a huge fan, she's watching right now. Big shout out to all the Madden moms out there, the moms and dads supporting our players. We certainly do appreciate you and all you've done. Second and seven. Russell Wilson. Looking up for the wheel route. Oh, that was a tight window. And Devontae Freeman says thank you very much. Talk about threading the needle. Devontae Freeman up the sidelines on that wheel route. He's able to get it in there. And a huge completion. Now we got a first and goal for Rage. And here comes Wilson dropping back. Pressure up the middle. Wilson out of the pocket. He'll throw this one away. He might have had B right there at the last second. I know it's kind of you know a scary thing to do. But he might have had him. But he throws it away to live another day. First time we've seen a real, a real threat from Rage to score. It's a handoff to Drake, bounces outside and just trips over the defender. Third and goal upcoming. Yeah, it looks like he might have had him, but tripped. And a big third and goal near now here. If you're Rage, you got to get in the end zone. This is crucial. Russell Wilson, pressure up the middle. Outside the pocket, there's just nobody over there. Oh, damn. Throw this one into the first row. What do you do here oh, on fourth and goal? You gotta take your points, and that really hurts. Henry feels great about that right now. Rage had a phenomenal drive, got all the way down the field, and has to settle for three. That definitely hurts. Kick is up, it is good, 14 to six. Are you surprised Rage went away from the run inside the five yard line? Three downs, only one run play. Yeah, we'd like to see to go a little off tackle or stretch right there. He went, he ran dive one of the plays, and then had two you know, bad pass plays. I would like to see him get to the outside and make a move. Dante Hall to the 25-yard line, so Rage uses three minutes of clock. Gives the ball back to Henry. His lone loss in the ladders was to joke by three. It's a pretty good loss, if you ask me. First and ten. Kyler steps up. Trying to get out of the pocket, but just got caught up on his own line. Maybe gets a yard, sets up a second and nine. Yeah, got a little stuck right there. Good defense by Rage. You see him lurking on that slot corner again, which you never really see. It's going to be on the safety now of the linebacker, but he, you never see that on the slot corner. He's looking for somebody down the field. Find Steve Largent. Boy, talk about a player who's been number one for Henry. It's been Steve Largent. All he's done is catch a touchdown, has four other catches. Yeah, precise pass right there. Kind of, you know, threading the needle again. Big third and four for Rage here. You got to get off the field. Going to flip the bunch. McCaffrey on the right hip. Under a minute to go in this all-important first game of group play. Kyler Murray dropping back. He's got the, the curl on the right side, but the defense for Rage gets there. That's Melvin Ingram with the sack. Yeah, Henry went with two uh, streaks to the left side. Thought he th I think he thought it was a cover two look, and uh, Rage had everyone manned up. Great defense, and a big stop for him for his confidence. Be able to take this down near the end of the fourth. Be able to make this the last play of the quarter. So going into the fourth, TD, seemed like a game that Henry had in control, but that drive by Rage, and more importantly, this stop right here, has Rage in position to pull off an upset? Yeah, that last play call there was a little questionable by Henry. Like I said, I think he really thought it was a cover two look. Didn't get what he liked and just nothing was there. And here we go, Rage back on a money drive. Let's see what he can do. Four's up in the chat. We're in the fourth quarter. It's 14 to six. Henry on top. Rage trying to get the run game going. Henry's got a couple goons out there on defense. Yeah, he does. His team is so stacked, like we said. There's nothing really going on the ground game. Kenyon Drake's had a couple decent runs, but it's really been the air attack that's going to have to get Rage over the hump here. Second down and 10. He's going to go back to the passing attack. Wilson underneath the Freeman breaks one tackle. Oh, but Adrian Amos on the backside says, you're not breaking this one. Crazy sequence of events. He barely got that pass off. Then he gets it off. Then he breaks a tackle. Then he takes a huge hit. Wow, now a big third and two. Let's see what let's see what the decision is, is here for Rage. Is he going to pass or is he going to run? I can hear little man in my ear asking for a fumble on that hit. I can just hear it. I just assumed. Third down and two. 
give it to Kenyon Drake. Shed up the middle, but Kenyon Drake just waves at Jarrell Casey as he goes by. A first down for Rage as this offense starting to look like it's got some motion. Yeah, too much speed there. Gets by Casey. Now he's going a little tempo here. Rage trying to get the ball down the field quickly. Under center. Stretch run for Drake. There's Roquan Smith. The actual Chicago Bear in those Chicago Bear unis making plays. Yeah, we saw how excited Henry was to draft Rokon Smith. Smith. Henry, a huge Bears fan, gets the linebacker he wanted. Now let's see if Rage can finish off a drive with a touchdown. It's been two field goals so far. Quick throw to the flat. Freeman breaks a tackle. Trying to get past the user, cannot, but we've seen Devontae Freeman out of that fullback position, TD, break a couple key tackles. Yeah, it's essential to have speed in the backfield in the strong close. Henry making a lot of adjustments on defense. He was almost there, but Rage is fortunate to break a tackle. Going back to pass once again. Look at that corner oh route. Oh, God. he clicked on, swerved him out of the way, and Henry said, thank you for the late Christmas present. Oh, that's not the pass one. And you can see that look, he's going, what was Rob Gronkowski doing? Yeah, great defense by Henry in that cover too. Rage thought the corner route could get over, it just couldn't. Just a bad read right there. And Henry with a huge stop. He's in complete control now. As young as Henry is, only 16 years old, Ty, are people intimidated to play a guy with as much hype being called the phenom as Henry? Well, I mean, I've heard Mo say it so many times. Henry doesn't act like a normal 16-year-old kid. This kid is so composed, so calm, and it's paid off for him this year. So we've hit the two-minute warning. We want to talk about fun facts as we're winding this game down. This is one we wanted to talk about. We found this out yesterday, and I can see TD already smiling. <laughs> we found some interesting quirks about these two young players. Henry let us know that his weird quirk sleeps with his socks on. Rage's quirk? He dips his pizza in ketchup. I can't do any of those. So I got a question for the chat. Put a one in the chat if you'd rather sleep with your socks on. Put a two in the chat if you'd rather dip your pizza in ketchup. I gotta know. <laughs> I gotta know what you'd rather do. I can see, I see Mo and Drini at the desk. They're shaking their heads. They went with option C, no thank you. <laughs> well, the great part about the group play format, TD, is that even if you start out 0-1, you still have an opportunity. We saw Crush start out 0-2 and still find a way into the knockout round. So by far, Rage still very alive. Oh yeah, for sure. The loser of this game has plenty of life. Rage has looked a lot better on offense. If, you know, the first drive and that last play of the last drive haven't looked great, but you know, he's definitely in this. Rage is one of the best players we have here. Definitely everyone's still alive. Point differential, you start wondering if Henry will try to put some extra points on the board. Hand off to McCaffrey. Oh, he had a, a big old, big old lane on the right side. Just got caught up in his own line. Yeah, good defense right there. But now if you're Henry, it's all about managing the clock, getting this clock down as much as possible. You're cool with a field goal. As there's Christian McCaffrey. You cool with a touchdown? Because C-Mac's going to walk into the end zone, extend the lead to two scores. Christian McCaffrey untouched to the end zone. Great run by Henry. Incomplete control now, 21-6. Kick is up, it is good, Henry. Seen a lot of ones in the chat, by the way. <laughs> like, I can't put, let me let me sleep with the socks on. That's cool, man. Somebody put in there one and two, and I'm not sure why. Yeah, man, the pe the pizza in the ketchup oh, is man. a little out of my uh, realm, but. Are you a pizza and ranch sort of guy? I, I, blue cheese I prefer, but okay. ranch is cool. Is a lot better than ketchup. <laughs> I've, listen, I've had people give me the look about ranch. They're like, you dip pizza in ranch? What is wrong with you? Nah, I see that a lot. Like, Pretty look common. at me. I'll dip anything in ranch. <laughs> 21 to 6. Hand off. Kenyon Drake trying to find some room left side. Quentin Dunbar escorts him out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Yeah, just a not, not a lot going for Rage with this Kenyon Drake. His stick workers look good. He's had a couple nice stop and goes, but just... Can't get a lot going on the ground. He's had to rely on the air attack, and Henry's had a box for that. 21 to six. Wow, we put we we put the poll up on uh, Twitch and the Twitch extensions as James was talking about. 77% of people say they sleep with their socks off. 
can't do the socks on at night. Henry told me, he goes, I'm just, man, I just get cold. But see, as somebody like me who has plenty of meat on their bones, I mean, Henry, like, would, would get blown away in a stiff wind. <laughs> but I got plenty of, of heat conduction over here. Third and 11. Now Henry starts looking ahead to our second wave of games. Got to take on VA Dimes in wave two. Looking for Gronk down the field. Man, that is the most Gronkowski catch I have ever seen. Just bullying his way to a reception. <laughs> yeah, right. It was great patience by Rage right there to wait till the defenders went away, but he got kind of a bad throw on the sidelines. And Rage, you know, he, he wants to get points here. You know, this is, like we said, we're in that group stage. All points matter. Wilson, left side. That's Marvin Harrison. Up, oh, balls out. It's picked up by Jackson. Put your GGs in the chat. It may have already been over, but that one a game sealer for Henry. Yeah, that hurts if you're Rage. You know, you could at least got a field goal there. Now you're going to get nothing on a nice play, too. And, and let's see what Henry does here. You know, like we said, all points matter. Henry might want more. <laughs> Kyler Murray. Boy, how good has Murray been? Been on target with everything. Playmaker up the field. That's Hollywood Brown. To the 47 yard. We didn't really have to talk about oh, Hollywood Brown a whole lot in this game. No, we didn't. You know, it's been a lot of Casper at tight end, a lot of large in. And nice patience right there by Henry. The playmaker's guy upfield, and he wants more points. Hurry up, first down. Hollywood underneath. Boy, you can see why Henry was so excited when he saw that Hollywood Brown item pop up in the draft. Yeah, he's got some weapons out there, man. 11 for 12. Henry's been on point with his gun bunch. Hasn't missed a read. And I think we're going to wind this down and, and kick another field goal. Welcome to point differential being the tiebreaker. These guys looking for as many points as they can. He'll line up for the field goal from the 32-yard line, a 49-yard attempt. And that will do it. The 16-year-old with a dominant.